I came back from France. My seat stay was cracked right here, cracked. And uh, track really helped me out, but I was upset and I need to stop that from happening. So I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do to make sure my bike is safe, how I pack it in one of these boxes. Flights are booked. We're leaving in two days, Friday, December 18th, and we're landing in Orlando. But now we're going to the Trek store to get bike boxes. Because we're shipping our car, we're driving back. So that means we're going, we don't, we can't bring the bike bags because then we're stuck traveling with them. I'm gonna use a box and hopefully Trek has one. If they don't, I'm gonna hit another bike shop. But I think the box might actually be better than the bike bag and protect the bike more. Some people may disagree with that. But right now my highest stress level is about protecting my Amanda. It's really stressing me out that I gotta put that in a box. That's one of the reasons I wanted to drive really bad, plus my daughter with her hamster and all this other stuff. But let's go, next stop, Trek. Here we go. Got the mask on. I'm at Trek here. They give me backdoor privileges because I know them so well. And I bought, bought a few bikes over the years. All right guys, let's go in the Trek store. Let me show you my local, local Trek shop. Backdoor. Got the shoes. Baby, don't change. Don't change. Baby, don't change. Three feet tall, two feet wide, 85 beats per minute. It ticks and talks with the clocks with or without you in it. So take this stone and skip it far away. Just finished in the Trek store. Here's what we're gonna be shipping our bikes with. I got some pro bike packing tips. I'm gonna show you those in a minute. Because we're shipping our car and driving back, we're gonna throw those boxes out when we get to Florida, put our bike rack on the car, which is obviously gonna be on the car when it arrives, and drive back like that. When I realized I had to fly, it gave me a lot of anxiety because of my bike. I had an Amanda. My last Amanda, the one before that, two Amandas ago, I came back from France. My seat stay was cracked, right here, cracked. And uh, track really helped me out, but I was upset and I need to stop that from happening. You, I got some cool stuff from Trek. Like this guy sits in the fork and he told me how to pack it. And my idea on how to do this is I wanna pack the bike the same way Trek ships the bikes because they know how to pack them. If they're shipping thousands of bikes every day or however many bikes they're shipping, and they know how to do it because they can't have these, these things break. So I'm gonna try and pack my bike the exact same way they ship it. They use one of these fork things. I'm gonna show you how I do it. I'm gonna show you everything I'm doing, and hopefully you guys can learn something from this. Please follow along. If you like this content, please subscribe. I'm trying to get to 10,000 subs by the end of 2021. Would love your help. If you do, please comment. I'll thank you personally. Love you. Let's do this. One of the first things we want to do to get the bike ready to pack is take front wheel off. We're going to also, very important to put in the, the spacer for the hydraulic brake so the pistons don't come out. We're going to take the pedals off, drop out the front wheel, take the saddle off. We need to mark everything. Very important. I'm going to use my whiteout to mark my, my seat height. Okay, we're going to mark our seat first so it gives us some time to dry. So there we go, seat marked. Now we're gonna drop out our front wheel. Okay, let's get some gloves on. Okay, just for expedience, I'm gonna take the chain off so it's not banging all over the frame and everything. And now I'm gonna put the chain on the inside pocket of the wheel bag. And in she goes. All right, I wrapped the pedals up in some bubble wrap and I'm just gonna tape them and I'm gonna put them in my tool bag with the rest of my tools. Okay, so at this point, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start wrapping the bike up. I'm gonna take the saddle off first. I can just put a piece of masking tape right over that. Very important are these guys. It stops the, the pistons and you just stick it in. This little part right here clips around the bolt and when you push it in and you can see it go in, boom, clipped in, done. When you pull your brake, it stops the pistons from collapsing. So now what we're gonna do now is we're gonna start wrapping. What Trek likes to do and what I want to do is just follow the way that they package these bikes. I'm going to use lots of foam. And what's great about the, fo the foam 
and then you put the paper over it and it double protects it. Protects it from dents. And I'm gonna put as much of this stuff on as I can. I don't think we need too much overkill with zip ties. I'm just gonna be using some masking tape to hold this stuff on. But I'm gonna try and cover as much as the bike as possible. Okay, let me show you this really cool part that Trek gave me. And what this does is it sits, you hold your fork, it makes sure your fork doesn't collapse or, and holds your bike onto the bottom of the box. And it just uses your through axle like so. Yeah, that looks much better. Okay, so we got that on right. Okay, let's keep wrapping. Got these uh, Kirkland towels. My wife got these for me, so I'm running out of bubble wrap and I'm just gonna use these to wrap the bike with the masking tape. And then what's amazing too is I can use these after to clean the bike, like later in the trip. So we're just gonna put that there. So the next thing we gotta do is secure the bars. Oh, look at my lovely wife bringing me the bubble wrap. Thank you. And I have this from the Evox bag, which is an amazing little thing. So we're gonna put this on. This is gonna hold the bars for us. So this goes here like that. Gives the bike some nice protection. Also gives somewhere to put our, our handlebars. And I'm gonna show you how you do that in a second. Biggest concern when we loosen off these handlebars is they don't drop. And I'm gonna show you how I deal with that. But what I do is I just add in a few spacers. Hopefully I got it now. First, we loosen off the tension nut. Okay, what we're gonna do is take this little plate off here, right here, because that's holding, that's holding all the wires in and stopping me from lifting up the bar. And take this little plate off. And what I wanna do is save this and put it back on so I don't lose the bolt. There we go. I was worried. I was worried for a second, but we're good, we're good. Okay. So now we take our spacers, and this stops the fork from dropping back out. If you don't have these spacers, what you can do is rip a space, uh, is you get a zip tie, or you get two zip ties, you stack them on top of each other, and you go like this. If you don't have spacers, get zip ties. And you put your zip tie on like that, you stack them, put a three or four on, and then that'll stop your fork from dropping. There we go, that's on. Don't need to over tighten it. We can't forget to put our little plate back. So we have slack on our cords. We're just going to put this in. I'm going to flip that up. I'm just going to screw that guy back in. And just tight enough that we don't lose the screw. So this part's super cool. And it looks like we got, we're going to have some success here. We got these little Velcro tabs. We're gonna drop her into the box and see how she looks. First, we're gonna take off the derailleur. Very important, we do not forget the derailleur. So what I'm gonna do, just because I'm a little crazy, is I'm just gonna give this a wrap. Bike is all wrapped, let's get her in the box. I was editing the video and I realized I missed an important point about the rear wheel. So the guy at Trek, who ships and delivers bikes and traveled with bikes a lot, told me to leave the rear wheel on. I tried to do it, but the bike box wasn't long enough, and maybe that's because this isn't the right size box. I'm using a box that isn't for a Monda. Like, that's a fat bike box, the one that I have it in, which is great, works great. But because I didn't leave the back wheel on, I needed to make sure that the frame wasn't gonna get crushed. And what I did is I took a piece of styro styrofoam like this, I measured the width, I just held it up to the back of the chain stay, like that, measured it, drilled a hole through it, like so, and then you'll see me, as I'm putting it into the box, you'll see this, and that's to stop from the, look, what? Who is it? Who is it? No, that's Papa's. I know, I know you wanna play with the drill. Here, play with this instead. Wheels. Now, this is one of the most important parts where I want to get these in without pushing on the bike. The worst thing that can happen besides my bike getting scratched is pressure like this and it cracks something. Worst thing that could happen. So we want to put these wheels in and make sure we give our bike enough room. 
I'm feeling really good about that. But what I'm gonna do to really make sure that this box does not get crushed is I'm gonna put some supports in. And what I mean by supports is I'm gonna get this styrofoam, I'm gonna cut it to width and place it down in there to make sure that the box, if it gets hit, it ain't getting crushed. And now we cut. That's really gonna help. And we're gonna put a couple in. So I have this old bag. What I'm gonna do is put the derailleur in it and then wrap that up. Put that in my bag with my saddle. What I'm gonna do is get some duct tape and I'm gonna tape this to the inside of the box so it's not rattling around all over the place. Okay, look at what we got here. I taped this on. I know it looks a little, looks a little funny, but it's great because then if I need to put any little extras in there, I can. I got that taped on. I have these taped on and you can see they really help from the pressure. One last thing. You're probably wondering what the heck this wall is. I rented my house. Um, and the reason this room looks so busy is, look at him, he's got the drill. You like the drill? Yeah. Yeah, okay, don't touch it, buddy. You get, yeah, it's sharp, it's sharp, you're gonna get hurt. Okay, so since we rented our house, I built this wall here, and then this is, my bike room here is becoming our storage room. That's why this guy's here, and all this stuff. Anyways, just wanted to point that out if you're wondering what this wall is doing here. I gotta finish the video guys. As always, thanks for watching. I got the bike box taped up. Gonna let you know. Please subscribe. Please follow. I'm gonna let you know what happens. I'm gonna show you what the, I'm gonna open this box when I get to, or, get to Orlando and I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Hopefully it's in good shape. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video. We'll catch you soon. Thank you.